Hey, good morning, California. I wanted to take a moment to address the uh, the tragic events that happened in Uvalde, Texas yesterday. Um, the fact that I just shot one of these videos less than a week ago is just, you know, that's painful in and of itself. And it, I think it's indicative of the state of our society right now. Now, the first thing I want to do is express my heartfelt condolences to the, to the, the victims of this crime and the family members of the victims. Um, I can't help but think about my own children. I just dropped my children off at school this morning, one of which is about to enter the fourth grade next year. He's finishing third grade right now. And I can't imagine what, what those parents are going through right now. Um, so I don't at all want to try to politicize this event. I don't even want to talk about politics because I don't think that is the time. It's right now is not the time to talk politics. Um, all of our thoughts and prayers should be with those those parents who are in the fa and the family members who are dealing with this tragic loss right now. The one thing I will say though is when it is time to engage in political dialogue, uh, my great frustration right now is that both sides of the political aisle, Republicans and Democrats are trying to score political points on gun laws. That's incredibly disheartening because they're missing the core problem here. I don't have all the facts right now, but the one thing I can say without even having to look at the facts that the, the young man that committed these heinous acts was mentally deranged. He was dealing with some serious mental health issues. And that's a topic that we refuse to have a discussion about in this country, mental health and its detriments and what it's doing to our society right now. You can't tell me that the parents of this young man or the guardians or the family members that were responsible for this young man had no clue that he was dealing with some severe, severe mental illness. When my four children wake up in the morning, I know within five minutes whether or not they're having a good or bad day. Because that's what parenting is. Parenting is paying attention. Parenting is being involved and being a support network for your child. And so the fact that the parents of this individual, whoever the guardians were, were probably aware of the fact that he was dealing with some severe mental illness for years in advance of this and did nothing, said nothing. The people in his community that were aware that he was dealing with severe mental illness did nothing, said nothing. That is indicative of how we treat mental illness in this country right now. We try to pretend like it does not exist. We treat it as if it's faux pas to talk about it because we don't want the social stigma attached with mental illness to somehow be associated with us or our family members. And all it did in this incident was lead to the senseless loss of 19 lives. We're better than that, America. Be better.